aka Ann Loam, and welcome to my house sitting episode. I'm not in my studio, I'm house sitting for my girlfriend. And I was editing and uploading some videos to my YouTube channel, one in particular called Transit of Soul. Uh, during the middle of that particular piece, I had some musings, some artistic musings, talking to myself about where I was artistically and how I moved into kind of being an abstract impressionist and the thought process I went through and it wasn't really relevant to that particular piece but I think that it's something worth sharing for other artistic people and for people who are curious about artistic people because sometimes our brain is a little bit different like I talk about the voices inside my head which really shouldn't scare you <laughs> I kind of get these images in my head, not necessarily voices, and I have these compulsions, and it sends me down these creative paths. And I just thought it would be really nice to share with you. So this is video that was already recorded, and I hope that you enjoy it. I'll talk to you later. Bye! Okay, I really like that. And then I just need to put more down. <laughs> It's almost a compulsion. It's like, I need to have three dots over here. I don't know why. Just in my brain. Before I started to paint, and when I first went to college, I would always say to my teacher, why, why, why does the artist do this? Why do they mix those two crappy colors together? Why do they do that technique? It doesn't make sense to me. And Rob would always say, Andrea, it's just an expression, their expression of whatever they're seeing in their mind's eye or in front of them. And I never understood it. Recently, when I started doing these pours, I now get it. There's this compulsion. You look at something and you say, it's not right. I need to do something else. I need to add yellow or I need to put black dots. Um, I think the voice is inside all of us, but I think we block it out. And it was when I started doing these pours and I had to let go of my concern for outcome because you, you can't right it's not like painting a landscape where you can keep painting and change it until it's the way you want the paint is moving all by itself so you have to kind of go with the flow and i think that's when i started to hear the voices in my head <laughs> that's where artistic creativity comes from. I think there's this little voice in the head that says, that's not right. You need to do something. <laughs>